I have to say I'm absolutely appalled by the incidents I've seen over the last few days in the United States. I'm absolutely appalled by this murder. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. Regardless of the ins and outs of the situation of whether this one of the guys had a criminal past, the video footage which has quite rightly shocked the nation and the world um, shows what looks to be pretty much an unprovoked murder yeah, in both incidents and then a shooting in Dallas where yet more innocent people lost their lives, police officers this time, all of these people with families and quite frankly I'm appalled and shocked by all of it. I, I tell you what, I've been around many places in this world in the last few years, in the West, and I can tell you now that nowhere else that I've been in the West is quite like this, has this atmosphere going on, uh, as the United States does, with these shootings and, and incidents that are going on very frequently, seemingly more frequently as time goes on. And unlike when I made the Donald Trump video, I can comment this time because I'm actually in the United States right now. I've been in the United States for the last month. I've been watch watching what's going on and the hype that surrounds this in the media, as per usual, painting it in a particular way that fits the agenda, using these horrors to further push the New World Order agenda I'm right near Washington DC right now and when you're here in the United States you get even more of a sense of how these things are affecting the nation. Jesus said those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. I mean who likes to see anybody getting shot especially like that and then see the families grieving afterwards wailing at the podium. It's really quite unnerving. He is 15 years old. <laughs> he had to watch this as this was put all over the outlet. And we can see the way this is building up, the way that this is already being used towards the agenda. We can see the tactics that are being employed and the way it's being spun and twisted by the media already, uh, furthering the, the agenda to distract, deceive and divide. The three Ds. Let's have a quick look into exactly why they might be doing this. I mean, it's quite ironic that all of this is going on just after Hillary Clinton was let off from her criminal charges. Uh, and everyone was getting outraged by that and then suddenly there's a, a different story storms its way into the media and covers all of the airtime and the Hillary scandal is pretty much uh, forgotten. I mean this is the future of the United States here, this presidential election coming up in November. Do you think it's right that someone has been let off, who's running for president, who has been let off these uh, criminal charges of misconduct? Do you see how they deceive people? I mean, ultimately this whole agenda, uh, which, which was spoken about many, many times, is to bring about chaos to society, mass division, which is where the divide comes in. This event, how's this event being used to divide? It's becoming pretty obvious that there's a rift that, is being, that they're trying, attempting to, to create between races, between black and white a race war uh, which is in the works, which is one of the ways to create chaos and division in society. And as per usual there's never just one uh, reason for these things to happen. There's multiple agendas at play. Another one is gun control, projecting that same horror onto the minds of the public, which we've seen increasingly in the last couple of years. And don't get me wrong, these are horrific events. But we know 
we know what the underlying plan is, the disarming of the general public in the United States. You see, they're trying to collapse the system. They're trying to bring down the system in a controlled demolition. Part of that is to make people distrust authority. What do you think people think when they see policemen acting in this way, projected everywhere, all over the whole country and the world? Do you think it makes them trust authority or do you think it makes them distrust authority? Not every policeman is like that. I assure you there's more cops out there who are legitimate and not involved in such corruption or foul play. You cannot blame the police for an isolated incident. But it's projecting the narrative of distrusting authority, of bringing down the system, which has been pushed over the last 20, 30 years in like the Sex Pistols, in punk music. Think back to how many when this all started, you know, um, rebellion against the system. They want to bring down the system to create the new system, which is the new world order. But it requires the collapse of this system first. That is what the, the ultimate goal is. So that's why we're seeing all this distrust of politicians, uh, just like a, an absolute charade in politics with, with what's going on at the moment. I'm sure I don't need to tell you too much. All over the world, by the way. Uh, and distrust in politics, distrust in the police, distrust in the money system. And I ask the truth movement, that would you please wake up? That rebellion against the system is exactly what they want, is, is exactly playing into the hands. If this system uh, descends into chaos and collapses, then they're, they're going to begin the process of order out of chaos. We know these terms. We know this problem, reaction, solution. We know the terms that are order out of chaos. And that is exactly what will result if the system collapses. That is why they're trying to push all through most of the truth movement, the rebellion against the system, um, grab your anonymous mask, go and uh, cause chaos in London. Um, and this is, this is why they want a controlled revolution. They want a staged revolution. This is the plan of communists. This is the plan of the Zionists. This is the elite's plan. It's not rebellion against the elite. Um, and, and they're really pushing this hard. And now to the general public too, not just the truth movement. And some, some people say, why, doesn't, why don't they just uh, pull the plug on the banks? Uh, if they really want this, why don't they just pull the plug and watch the world descend into chaos? Because obviously there's some rules to this. Obviously, the, you know, this is a spiritual war we're talking about here. This is, you know, we, we all believe that God is real. We believe that the Bible is the truth. There are certain rules to this. And it seems that somehow the intent of the people, the will of the people, comes into play when talking about this. Because the elite aren't as powerful as people think. The devil, ultimately, is trying to cause this chaos through putting these ideas into people's minds. Uh, this should show us that God is in ultimate control. The enemy can do nothing without duping people into compliance. Because intent is everything. This shows who's really in control. It's God, not the devil, not CERN, nothing else but God. And so with all of that in mind, and with these horrific events in mind, and all of the agendas that are at play surrounding it, let's look lastly at the, obviously, on this channel we look a lot at the Kabbalists and the Luciferians, and how these secret fraternities who worship the occult, who do things in secret, who do rituals, um, how does this fit into that? How does what's going on fit into that? Well. Again, it's that collide of the pillars. They're trying to collide the pillars, the black and white, the collide of black and white. We've talked about this a fair amount, but this is all to do with, you know, like a, a, a parallel mirror of Samson pushing down the pillars in the temple of destroying it. It's a similar kind of thing that they're working with there. They're, they're inverting there. They copy the truth. And so it's the pillars of black and white, the collide of the pillars. They're trying to cause a clash. 
And they're also that, that goes into male and female. They're trying to cause a clash between males and females. These things echo through the agendas that are going on. Gay and straight, black and white, male and female, Christian and Muslim. I could, you could probably write a whole long list of the ways these agendas are manifesting in society. We cannot stop what God has ordained. Uh, what will be will be, what is written is written. And um, we, all we can do is pray and stand strong in our faith. I'm going to the uh, Washington DC event uh, where the Pope is doing a live link because quite frankly I'm absolutely appalled that Christians are starting to think that the C Catholic Church, the Pope, is somehow related to Christianity. And there's this big event going on in Washington DC um, on the 16th of this month uh, with Hillsong and the Pope doing a speech via video link. And so I'm going to be there, I'm going to make a video and expose some of this stuff and I apologise for the lack of videos recently, I've just been trying to find my feet here and uh, there's certainly more videos to come and I'm going to do some videos here in the United States. Um, I'm in Virginia at the moment. Uh, I just hope for and pray for, for peace for as long as is possible. That's what we should be praying for. That um, God will, in his mercy, grant us peace and to live peaceably with the government and not to rebel and get violent but to stand for Christ in these days. I'm going to talk about how I've struggled with sin recently in a video soon because I think it's important for us all to be there for each other as these days grow darker and, and things get harder to really be honest with each other and try and live for Christ and uh, share our experiences and grow together. God bless you guys and thanks for listening.